Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We made it home. <laughs> and today I have had the worst headache on earth. Um, my eyes are all puffy and my face is all red. Of course, I did just get out of the shower, but man, I just moisturized so I'm all shiny. But um, I think my blood pressure is up and that's why... Um, hello, look at that. Cleo has taken over the world. The androgynous cat. Cats missed us. So since I've been home last night, they have basically been like right on top of me, which drives me crazy. I was not a cat person. Not. Before I forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go down and hit subscribe. Um, I would love more subscribers. And on that note, just in case you're wondering, um, underneath my name down here or right next to wherever it says how many subscribers there are um, I was fooling around while I was gone and decided to take that number off I'll put it back on if you want me to it's no big deal I was just getting so focused on how many subscribers I had and I just don't want that to be the focus I want the focus to be on cancer and my life with cancer and if people wanted to subscribe then great I'm all for it I, I would love the more subscribers the better because the more subscribers I have the more people that are hearing about this and that will hear about this um, and so um, I took that number off, but if you would like me to put it back on, that's fine. I don't even know how many subscribers we have yet. I just know how many views it had, and to me, that's what's the most important, is how many views. And I forgot to put my, I've got little pop-ups here, and they won't quit popping up. Um, so, I think I have like 30,000 views, or close to 30,000 views, and that is is amazing. I don't know how long people are watching, but the fact that um, they're viewing it this many times is really important to me. Okay, so since I've been home, let me see. Um, oh, I've gotten an update. Sorry, I'm grabbing my coffee here, <laughs> or cappuccino in a box. Ah, don't you love people who slurp their cappuccino? Um, anyway, since I've gotten back, um, I have spoken with the provider that I did see um, from surgery, and she took a look at my CAT scan. And my CAT scan was not bad. Um, it wasn't stellar, but it wasn't bad. She said there's nothing eminently worrisome to worry about. Okay. Um, but the tumor that I have, it's called, um, it's the first time I've realized what it's called. It's a perirectal tumor. Here I thought it was in a different space, but it wasn't. Um, it's a perirectal tumor. It's between my tailbone and my rectum, so that makes sense. Um, it's there. Now, it's smaller than it was, which is great, but it's still there. Um, I remember I told you guys that when I was in radiation that they couldn't see it anymore and that it was obliterated and gone and all of this. And that's what I thought it was. That's what I was told it was. But um, when I clarified that today, what I realized was, sorry if I'm shaking a little bit too. Um, when the radiation people did my radiation, they, did, they didn't do an actual regular CT scan every day. What they did is called a cone CT, and that is um, just a really quick picture uh, while I'm laying on the table. And in that CAT scan, the reason that they did that was because when the tumor became unstable, and all that means is, um, when they said unstable, it means that it was just getting smaller and it was harder for them to find. So they started doing the cone CAT scans. Um, they would just, they call them cone CTs uh, while I'm laying on the table. And they did that so that they could see the tumor. Um, and the closer that we got to the end, the less they could see it, which was great. But on a regular normal CAT scan, it's still very visible. I haven't seen the pictures yet, but if it is big enough for them to measure, then it's big enough to cause problems. So, and I think I told you before um, that this all has to be brought up to the tumor board. They're trying to figure out, I clarified that today too, they're trying to figure out whether or not surgery is something that would help me <clears throat> because the surgery is extremely invasive. 
Now let's think about this for a minute. If they don't do surgery, this tumor is going to start growing again in about a month, which means they're not going to do anything about it, which is not a good thing. That means that soon I will be in the same position as I was before, and there will be no treatment for it. So let's hope that doesn't work. Um, and I think also, from what I understood, that the tumor board and all of the surgeons and everybody are looking at it to see not only if they can do surgery, which is probable, it's gonna probably be up to me how risky I wanna take, how, how much risk I wanna take with the surgery and, and, and what I wanna be like it after it's over. But my tumor and my kind of cancer is a rare kind of cancer. So of course I'm up on the board at, at the Mayo um, and they're likely deciding which route is going to be the best route. Now next Thursday is the 20th and that's when they're meeting. And so um, I will hear from them that day or the day after. Um, so let's everybody cross our fingers and hope that there is a positive outcome to this because I just can't fathom a not positive outcome. I haven't lived my life yet, especially after going back and seeing my family. I really, really miss my family. And maybe that's why I have such a headache today. I'm just a little bit stressed because we're not there. We came home to a bunch of snow, a bunch more snow, and it was snowing when we got here. So. Um, I'm working on the videos that I took. It is clear by these videos I am not the best camera woman in the world. Um, but we didn't do too bad of a job. And the makeup video is awesome. My cousin is awesome. My cousins are awesome. Um, my sisters, my brother, my mom and dad, everybody was just great. I had a blast there. I didn't want to leave. It was a long, long trip home. Got a lot of sleep. Um, got a lot of rest. And, um, had a lot of memories, but, um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to keep working on, on editing this stuff. It's a little bit difficult with the camera that I used is a, don't know what kind it is. It's a Samsung HD. I don't know. I'll tell you guys later. I'll put it in a description somewhere, but you have to put a card in it and then take that card out and then upload it into a program and edit it and all that kind of stuff. So it's a big learning curve for me. Um, so I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hope you like my videos. I hope they're not getting too boring. I know I lead a pretty mundane life, but, um, hopefully I can come up with some stuff that's not crazy boring for you. So I am going to get off of here. I'm going to finish drinking my cappuccino, take my blood pressure again. Hopefully it's gone down a little bit and then I will get back with you tomorrow. See you later.